We're just gonna do this with the instructions right now. Step 66. Step 66? Oh, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to follow this with the instructions. <laughs> I know I'm cheating right now. I am a self-proclaimed idiot. I've already told you this. This definitely seems somewhat impossible to me. I don't like this one. <laughs> this one is not the way my brain works. What's going on guys? I am Matthias and this is Dope or Nope, the channel on which we try to rope and grope tanners. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're looking at 10 puzzles that look easy but are actually level 10 or just extreme. Lee Hard. <laughs> <laughs> what is a level 10, you ask? Well, great question, stupid. A level 10 puzzle is the hardest puzzle you can possibly try to solve. And to be honest with you, I, like you, am stupid. And therefore, I'm probably not gonna be able to solve any of these because I'm stupid. But what makes a level 10 puzzle a level Shh. 10, Matthias? I know you told me this right before we started shooting, yeah. but I, to be honest, wasn't listening. Yeah, let me tell you guys. <laughs> what makes a level 10 puzzle a level 10 isn't that it's just like, oh, super mechanically tough, it's that it's impossible to like replicate your solution. So if you solve it once, it's really hard to memorize the solution to do it again. So oh, it might so it's almost like a safe. Yeah, you might be able to slip into it once, you know, you might be like, <laughs> oh, I got it. You might be able to do it, I don't know. You might be able to solve it once, but to solve it twice is unlikely. So we have a bunch of solutions lined up just in case, so you guys can see them all. Quad L metal puzzle, two and a half out of five stars. That looks so simple. It just looks like brain dead simple. It looks like you just move it around, or it looks like you just take it off. And look, these are what the pieces look like. And here's the reaction when you first get it. <laughs> I haven't been that fake happy about anything in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the cart. Here's your puzzle loser. Did you try to do this and fail? No, it just got a little loosey boy. Oh my gosh, this actually, oh. This is hard. I'm supposed to have all the L's interlocking. So it, never, it doesn't even come apart? I just have to do it like that? That doesn't even make sense. That sounds impossible. Okay, I got that guy. Oh no, I can't get that guy out of the way. So the idea here is I need to get the L. No, what? I need to get the L inside. There we go, like that. No, that's not right. I need to get the L curved. What? That doesn't even make sense. They didn't build it right. <laughs> Everybody with the hard puzzle, they didn't build it, right? Okay, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <gasps> you did one, so you what? are supposed to take them off. You can take them off. What is the goal of this puzzle? The goal of this puzzle is to get it like that, I think. I know it's, it's literally just a pattern, but that's the issue, is that it's hard. <laughs> okay, I give up. All right, take a look at the uh, solution. What? I can't even see what you're doing, brother. Okay, so that's what he's saying. He's like just saying you just gotta continue to rotate in random different directions until things fall out. That's what I was doing. Yeah, I mean, you luckily you oh. did show it once. Oh? I did, yeah, I did show it once. So that's, that's for you. <laughs> that's for you, viewer. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. Okay, so I mean, I did it once. That's, that's it. That's how you solve the puzzle. If you want some uh, hours of fun, I don't know, just buy this puzzle. It's it's a difficult one. How frustrated are you after one one level nine puzzle? Um, I'm like moderate frustration, definitely okay. moderate frustration. I feel like if I maybe spent like 30 minutes on this, I could probably get them all out. And if I spent maybe two hours on it, I could get them back in. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what I feel. Well, you did get one, so that's still I a did success get one. So 25% is an A in this world. Amen. Next product. <laughs> Iko Suko Sudoku Challenge Brain Teaser. Uh, so Sudoku, ooh, I should have brought Amanda in for this one. She loves Sudoku, you know, since She's Asian. What? <laughs> <laughs> She's the one that says it. She's like, I'm Asian, let me do my Sudoku. And I'm like, nerd. To be fair, my dad does Sudoku on the toilet every morning. He has, a, he has an entire book full of them. Somehow I don't believe that. Sudoku is an art. It's not to be done while defecating. <laughs> He's not deaf. <laughs> this is a brilliant brain teaser with literally thousands of challenges. Place the number buttons randomly, then match the dots to the numbers. Amanda would love this puzzle and I hate Sudoku. Ah, I get it, I understand it, but I hate math. I could do it. I just don't want to. Add the cart. Hey! It's a really cool looking puzzle though, to be honest with you. I feel like it's a puzzle I would love. You like math, don't you? Yeah, I love math. If, I, if I'm if i not mistaken with this puzzle, I think this number right here is what all of these points need to add up to, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> what? I don't think it's solved right now. Is it really not solved? That's your job, brother. And that is just like Sudoku puzzles. Like Sudoku puzzles, you can only have um, a certain thing count to a certain amount. Like it can count to 10 in one block, but it can only count to 10 in a straight line, so it, like it is all about. This so let's just movement. let's just start with one. Now you got to be thoughtful here because which of the one do you want to be one? What do you mean? There's one now. Yeah, but which side do you want it to be connected to? Because you also oh, have four I can, and I can, ten. You're right. I have to see if it conflicts with any of these right now. So five is less than two. 
less than two, less than two. Uh, this is a good one to have 10 on and seven. That one might be a little bit difficult to have there. So let's then go to maybe five. So let's go with maybe a two here. Nope, I don't want that because it's a seven there. So maybe let's go with uh, a two there and a three here. So that gives it, you know, seven more of a chance. And one, two, three, four, and then we need a one and a zero. So let's throw a zero there. It's also good to point out, think of how many sides are always touching the five. You always are gonna have five things touching it. So when you get to things like 12, you're gonna wanna have at least everything being a two. So I think it's kind of like save the oh, twos. Oh, that's not true. You can have a three over here. Yeah, I'd say at least everything a two though. Oh yeah, at least, yeah. At least. Well, watch me just screw you over. <laughs> three is at least two. <laughs> so you're just- No, that's a one. That's why I don't think it's gonna work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I just need another three. So four threes and a one. Suck it. All right, tough guy. You got me there. But now let's see if that broke anything too. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely broke that. This one doesn't work there. So I need to find a three maybe with a zero there. There we go. What's the other three connected to? Uh, Six. That's a tough because now you're already One, two, four. three, four. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to be good at this. <laughs> Man, and that's really good. Just going to ripple change everything. Yeah. Dude, Amanda will love this. Woo! Is 11 solvable right now? Solvable. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. It's not. Eight, nine, ten. Ah, ah. Do we have a two with a zero? We have a two and a zero, so we have a two. This is the same piece. What do I need? A two right here. That's fine. Can I can I do that? Yes, I, I can do that right here. I got it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need a three right here. Ooh, that destroy. That ruins. Oh, it. that ruins me. And so this is the point where I'm gonna let go and just say, if to solve this, I'll probably need to spend another thirty to forty minutes on it, and you don't want to see me do that. But you get the general gist and I'm absolutely gonna say this is a dope because I feel like this would definitely be hours of fun in which you can just really just change everything you want and get it down. Amanda's gonna love this. Mm -hmm. Guess what? The next product is a safe with three digit mechanical code lock but this is a lie to buy! Lie to buy! And we just want to make sure that you want to do it because it's always usually tied to always usually always usually tied to a video and this particular one is expensive puzzles. This particular one's all about how much cash we can drop on some really intricate, expensive, cool puzzles. So if you guys wanna see that, hit me with, I don't know, 125K likes. And we're gonna be spending legitimately almost, I think $1,000 on this video, on just puzzles. We'd be doing 10 puzzles. Some will be way over 100, some might be barely under, like this one's like 77. It's gonna be like $1,000 in puzzles. So comment down below what, like 1,000? What? Comment down below 1,000. <laughs> comment down below, puzzle me puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> like that was any better. Next product. Think fun Gordian's knot. <laughs> Sounds like someone has a disease and they've named it after themselves. You see my knot? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, this puzzle book, I think I've seen this before. This is a step-by-step -step solution. It literally came with a book. That's how difficult it is. Six colorful interlocking puzzle pieces, 40 page step-by-step -step solution book, 40 moves poop. Add to cart. So the challenge of this puzzle is to straight up just take it apart. That's it. Yeah, look at the back of it. Did you, did you already read that? The world's most difficult take apart puzzle? Oh, really? Dang yeah. it. I was just joking because I thought that would be the easy part. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the instructions. We're not going to look through that. We're just going to do it through osmosis. <laughs> And we're gonna try. Oh no, I see. That's straight up. Diffy. What? So now there's some things to move around there. Oh no, I'm lost. I'm already so lost. Oh, I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. This is why puzzles give me so much anxiety because I'm like, I have a poor memory. I do like three moves and I'm like, forgot what I did. And you can never yeah, go back. I can never go back. And I have to like refigure it all out. We're just gonna do this with the instructions right now. Step 66. Step 66? Oh, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to follow this with the instructions. <laughs> Move the orange piece out. Okay, move the green piece away from you. I can follow this. I got this. Wow, move the blue, orange, and yellow pieces left. What does that mean? Move them just all to the left? What? I can't. Oh, you mean this blue piece? What you talking about? Blue, orange, and yellow. Yeah, that. Uh -huh. That's what they're talking about. That's a complicated move right there. Ah. Uh -huh. This is the definition of a level 10 puzzle. Like, the actual movements aren't that hard, but, like, imagine memorizing this. Oh, jeez. Literally impossible. <laughs> Gone. Be free. Yes. Let's see if I can do this without. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if I can't even get two pieces apart. <laughs> Dang, dude. How long did that take me? I feel like I just woke up from a coma. That took like 15 minutes. Wow. That was 68 steps. 
I mean, like, I, I don't know. That doesn't feel like a puzzle to me. That feels like a safe. Yeah, it does. I, I don't know. What do you What do you guys think down in the comments below? That that seemed a little bit extreme, but you know, for the masters, I'll give it a dope. Stabile, Saintenlag. Stable. Stable? No, it isn't stable. You're right. Stable has no eye. <laughs> I was like, this kid's trying to correct me. I was like, that's how you spell stable? <laughs> I don't think so, Tanner. I'm sorry. It's a classic anti-slide puzzle. Oh, we just worked on slide puzzle, and now I'm gonna just want to slide things. Uh, the objective is to put all the eight pieces into the tray so that no piece can move if you tilt the tray to one side. <laughs> I'll just buy it because it's hard. Add the cart. Uh-oh, this one's been taped down. I feel like it's in like a, this might be one too. Uh-oh, that still fell out. I feel like it's in a restraining jacket. Okay, so the object of this puzzle is to make it in a way that like keeps them all there friction-based. Is that true? I think it's so that they are all touching in a way amongst each other that they can't move if they're tilted. Okay, so I'm absolutely not gonna figure this out. So let's kind of figure out what it would look like if I tried to mimic the, the picture. The picture. And then this guy goes here, possibly, I don't know. And then this guy maybe goes here. I know I'm cheating right now. I am self proclaimed claimed idiot. I've already told you this. I can see how this could be increasingly difficult. Okay, so that's the idea. Oh, I get it. You see what I'm saying? You know, these things hold it all in place, and when you slide it, it won't slide. It's an anti-slide puzzle. I still think it's pretty cool. I think the quality of it's good, and I think for the puzzle connoisseurs, you might enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you a puzzle genius? And also, are you a keyboard warrior? Because those often show up in my comments. <laughs> I'll say that's a dope, but I feel like maybe just one solution once you solve it. You know, once you solve it you just know how to solve it for the most part but it's enjoyable in the process ah einstein's lock puzzle interessante so this is quite literally safe <laughs> uh, look at that that's kind of cool so the idea is you got to move around pieces in there maybe with the key and then slowly get them all out solve this tricky puzzle by using the key to slide the inner pieces of the lock around until it opens learn to use your physical dexterity and visual perception to slide the lock's pieces around in the correct order to remove the key from from the lock. I see. So you don't have to get them out. You just have to move them all around so that they get out of the way of the lock. Developed by Professor Puzzle. Bruh. Guy's last name is Puzzle? Oh no, Professor Puzzle is just the, the brand. Cool, I think that's pretty cool. Let's see what the reviews say. Too easy, this person said. See what I mean? Too easy. Only took me two hours. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the flexors. Ah, uh, the flexors. Tanner was flexing on me downstairs earlier. He's that's like, right. you see how many views Dober Nub is getting? And I was like, cool. I didn't say views. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. I already know you know that. <laughs> <laughs> took me about five minutes to figure out, but it's not easy unless you're familiar with these types of teasers. Okay, genius. Like. Uh, anyone else just annoyed by these? I'm always annoyed by comments. So comment down below if you're annoyed. <laughs> Add the cart. Cool packaging. Can you open the lock? Question mark. Albert Einstein. He's like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a genius. <laughs> Le nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I see you. Okay, so how does this puzzle work? I, I actually need the key. Yeah, so the key, the whole goal is to unlock the lock so that you can remove the key from the puzzle in general. But you have to use the key to move the pieces. Interesting. So I have to move this guy out of the way and this guy up. Oh, I have to move all of these guys out of the way somehow routinely. Okay, so I see what I have to do. I have to consistently try to get this piece up. And so if I move this guy out of the way, I can move it up this way and then I have to move pieces back and then move them out of the way so I can continue to raise it. So this definitely seems somewhat impossible to me. All the meanwhile, I could just cut it off with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> and I will. <laughs> and I will. Oh, I see, I see, my friend. But how am I gonna do that? I'm stuck, dude. No, just move the bottom left thing left. I can't. Oh, it's, it's locked into that. There's a notch right there. I feel like I need to get this guy into here somehow, but I can't move this guy left because I can't move this guy down. What? Is there really something that obvious that I'm missing? How could there be something that obvious? Wow, I, I guess I gotta look at the, I'm, I'm, I, I need to know the solution to the puzzle now. Okay, don't act like, wait. <laughs> Oh my god. It was that easy. Dog, you can't even make that up. Mine doesn't do that. Oh yeah, no, it, it does. does. I just didn't pull hard enough. <laughs> that Dang was it. awesome. I didn't pull hard enough. Oh, I'm so upset by that. Oh, he moves the brown piece down, moves that down to the middle, and then slides that all the way up. Oh, I see. That guy, that's what I was trying to do. Then puts that up. Then moves the brown piece to the left. Of it. Brown piece to the left. Oh yeah, raise that and then move the brown piece. Yeah, and that's then... it. That's where he's at. Oh, is that it? Uh, not quite. Yeah. But I, but I, it's open. Oh yeah, then that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Nice. That was it. Wow. That I feel like I almost got there, but I doubted myself. Yeah. I think this is definitely memorizable. Yeah. One of the easier hard ones. Yeah. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting. I'll rate it a dope because I said that was fun. So 
suck it. The fish puzzle. Oh boy. That looks complicated. I don't like it. It's solutions? What? Yeah. Trying to solve one of our puzzles and need a hand? Just enter the email address below to watch one of our solution videos. So that's like them saying, we don't want you to accidentally see one of our solution videos. So we're gonna, you're gonna have to personally request it and admit that you can't do it. That's what they're saying. Also, they get your email address in the meantime. <laughs> okay, cool. Add to cart. Ouch. Fish puzzle. <laughs> The Albert Einstein face. Does that, is that what makes you look like a genius? This absolutely looks like an insane toy. I hate this so much already. <laughs> I just like, everything can just like get tangled up and like in different directions. Like, oh, uh, I really don't like it. I think we went the approach of like, it just looks like a fish and it's relatability makes it seem easy, but the, it actually does look kind of complicated. Oh yeah, for sure. It just looks like it's just like a little pipe and that's it. But in reality, like I'm supposed to like, I don't know what, even what I'm supposed to do here. I'm supposed to like move these pieces around and like get it out and loop through certain things and things like that and oh just forget it that feels like anxiety prone like i'm down to do rubik's cubes and everything like that but like this kind of thing where you get like twisted and turned and then you're just like i'm in a spot where i have no idea where to go gives you that anxiety and i don't like it so let's see the solution can you remove the handle from the fish what whoa 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 slow it down turbo i have to like get this guy over here get this guy over here here and get this guy over here, go down here like this, throw this guy in here and move through the, the left one. Yeah, so I move through the left one. See, this is what I'm talking about. That kind of like, who would have thought of that? Oh. oh, that's the kind of stuff that I would never have thought of. I'm supposed to like do this and then do this to get outside of that. What? Did I just do some voodoo magic? No, I was, no, no, I was on the inside of this. <laughs> like what? What? I don't even understand what's happening. This doesn't even feel like a puzzle. When it's this difficult, it's like you're not using your brain to solve any of this. You're just getting lucky. Look, see, I'm I'm here. That's some weird magic. Like this is so complicated for my brain to understand because I'm like going in and out of all these loops and I'm not understanding how the loops are interacting with this yeah. and why I need to go through them. And it's just probably like puzzle, you know, basic puzzle logic, but like my brain's like, what is happening? Oh, there we go. I did it. Wow. Did you figure out the rest on your own or did you just follow it? Uh, I was following it. Now return the handle back to its original position. No, thank you. You're done. You're, You're done. done. You're done. You're done. Oh, oh, my God. God. No, thank you. No, thank you. I did it. Now let's just cook the fish and eat it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll say that one's a nope. That one gives me too much anxiety. It works and everything like that, but for a personal preference nope. Cast, do it. <laughs> What is this? I have to get the ring all the way through the thing and then undo it or what? Ah! I'm starting to get to like high levels of frustration by the end of this video. And I'm not even actually solving any of these. I'm just going through instructions. I wonder if that's why it's frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, the goal of this is you want to swing it around and there's little divots. So you want to use the oh, ring to go through those yeah. divots. Add to cart. Ah! Oh, there's two? Oh boy. So if you can kind of see, there's that little divot right there. And that's why you can't just like take it off right here, even though I am doing it, but you can move it through this part. So that's what's interesting is that I don't think I can move it that way though. Oh, but wait a second. I can rotate it and go on the opposite side. Oh, look at that. See, that's that's part of the irritation. See, like if I'm over here and I want to go over here, yo, that's dope, that's fine. But then I'll have to spin it like this and then spin it around like that. And then I spin it like this what and then around like that yeah but now i'm in a tough predicament so that's not right that gives me the anxiety but now this guy you're in the way get the heck out of here now now we have complications of both of the rings being in the same orientation and in the way well what the heck bro what's the point of that who gave me two rings i, I only see one ring all these rings and no lords bro what's going on so i got them both in the same spot so now i can just do the exact same thing with them what i feel like i just was here what did he, how did he how did you get over here bud wow he's got like a five minute video and he's going through all the whole thing and they're both in different places Bring them together. Oh, he brings them together as a full ring. Oh, that's oh, the puzzle. That's the puzzle. You're not trying to get them off. I'm trying to get these puppies together to form a full magnetic ring. So I got really, really close. I got this guy there and I'm so close and I'm sorry, but you can just look at this picture to get the satisfaction that you need. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a satisfying picture? It's not blurry at all. I'll say that's a dope. I, I, I could get there. Next product. Three piece pyramid. Be warned. When you divide all the pieces at the beginning, you better watch what you're doing. <laughs> Otherwise we'll hit you know otherwise <laughs> you will get lost when trying to solve this difficult puzzle i don't want to get lost ah uh, let's just figure it out remind me so 
No. They're separated. Oh my word, that's so confusing that this is one piece. Luckily it's only a three piece. Oh, but if it's a slider boy, ooh, that's a toughie. I really hope it's not. Oh, this is gross. There's three pieces. I have no idea. That just doesn't look right at all. I see what's supposed to be happening. I just have to see the puzzle that I can't see right now. It's like they're all kind of facing upwards this way and they can kind of need to all be, you know, like this one's probably in the best spot to be doing that. I want to put them in like sideways or something, you know? Yeah, I'll definitely figure out which one's supposed to be the top one. The one that's like half and half, like half dark, half tan. Oh my word, I'm absolutely confused. I just can't see it. I can't see where it, how this piece gets there. I feel like I'm playing blocks like when I was a kid. Okay, so we got the instructions right here and I don't even understand them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is that? So they said start out with this piece. It's all wood. How do you follow it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand this. What? I literally don't know where this piece even goes in the. I don't understand the instructions. Actually doesn't even help. That has got to be it for the most part. You know, like I'm just missing a block right here. So then the question is, if that's the case, and this had some opportunity to get there first. There we go. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like zoning out and I looked up and you had it done and I was like, dang. <laughs> I did it! I actually did it because the instructions made no sense. <laughs> so to pull it apart, yeah, there were definitely like sliding pieces here, like here and then here. And that's literally how it, how it goes. It just kind of all slides into place like that. And that's it. Thank you, thank you. Round of applause, thank you. I don't like that one. <laughs> Even though I solved it, I don't like it. I'll say no. Next gave product. Me too much anxiety. Chain Hanayama cast metal brain teaser. So the Hanayama, is that the thing where you're sliding pieces through each other with the divots? I yeah. think like a similar one that we just did. It's a level six out of six, by the way. Okay, level six out of six. Mm -hmm. Consider the very difficult by most puzzlers. Be puzzled is more than just jigsaw puzzles. It's puzzle plus. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what that means, but I appreciate the effort. <laughs> Add the cart. Oh, okay, what on earth? This is even looser than the other one. And I'm not sure which one's like the main piece. And so they're all their own pieces and it's getting me shook and I hate it. I don't even know how to move these things in and out of, in and out of themselves. What? How does this work, Tam Man? Um, I believe divots as well. What? I don't even understand how it works. This is definitely more complicated than I anticipated. What? Am, what's the goal? It's to separate all three of them from each other. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not even seeing how it all comes together. Clearly, I need to be like putting these things through each other somehow, but I'm just rotating the pieces back and forth. So I gotta be like maybe throwing this guy up here like that, maybe throwing this guy down like that. Wow, no idea. I actually have no idea right off the bat. But look, we have a th we have like divots right here. You see like three right there. On this guy, you see there's a one right there. And on this guy, you see there's a two right there. And that's like maybe the identification of the pieces. Okay, give me, throw me those instructions. Mr. Puzzle. Today we're going to talk about this puzzle here. Thanks, Mr. Puzzle. I will now continue to assemble no, he's got number this. two oh. from number one. For this, I'm going to move number two down here, number three in this gap down here, and I will continue twisting number two until I can remove it from number one. What? Oh, what are you even saying? Of two, part number two and three. So the initial um, order was one, two, three. Now it's one, three, and two. That was some genius stuff right there. I, 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 no. No, nope. <laughs> I don't like this one. <laughs> this one is not the way my brain works. So many things that look the exact same doing things that your brain can't understand. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is like when you're trying to puzzle solve, like one of the biggest things is like, okay, understand where you're going. Yeah, but also understand like the, the underlying mechanics. And I, I can't understand the underlying mechanics. What do you guys think? Pull right there. Let me know. Do you guys think this is a dope and you could do it? Or you, you think this is a nope and you'd much rather a different type of puzzle? Let me know your favorite puzzle down in the comments below. This video right here is difficult looking puzzles that are actually easy. That's more my speed. That I was on my game in that video. So maybe you watch that one if this one frustrated you. And this video over here is a video that YouTube thinks you specifically will enjoy. And until next time, subscribe and we'll see you then. <laughs> High five.